I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a chrome effect on a text layer. All right, first you want to just go ahead and click your type tool, type in whatever word you want to type. In this case, I'll be typing chrome. Uh, click on your move tool, hold down the shift key, click and drag the corner of your text until you get it the size that you want it to be. Double click on the layer that you're working on in your layers panel until your layer style pops up and then click on your gradient overlay. Double click it so you can change the gradient points. The gradient point that it's on now you have a black one and you have a white one. Well we need uh, five all together so I'll add one in the middle another one right beside it and then one right here in the middle of that one and then we just need to change the colors of the points alright first we'll click on the first one change that color to a light gray you can leave this one white the third one we want to make a dark gray and leave this one white and the last one is going to be light gray all right so now we have the gradient points where we need it to be you might want to adjust it a little bit just to um, make it conform to the text that you're working on and push OK next we're going to go to the stroke you can make the stroke however big you want it to be in this case I'll just make it like a nice little medium sized stroke and you need to change this from the uh, color uh, field type color into the field type gradient alright and then you can do the same thing this time you only need three points and you can uh, make this gray make the middle one white and then make this one gray. Okay. Next, go to your inner glow. Make that white. And just give it like a nice medium sized glow. Not too much, though. Then you uh, double click on your bevel emboss. And on your bevel emboss, uh, the default is inner bevel but we need a stroke emboss alright and then we need to step the size up just a little bit to kinda match the stroke and the gloss contour what we will do is make that instead of a straight line we'll do like a curvy line which is this one that looks like a hill click on that push OK oh one other thing I forgot is the satin the satin default is black what we want to do you can make it any color you want but I'll use like a, a aqua right now alright push OK you can bring it down just a little bit uh, adjust it how you see fit push OK that's it we got a nice chrome layer and we can add a little bit of uh, bling to it click on your circle marquee tool or your ellipse marquee tool Make the feather 80, create a new layer, hold down the shift key, drag, and make a circle. Paint bucket, dump it in, uh, make sure your color is white. Dump your paint bucket in the circle, you get a nice little glow effect that looks nice on your chrome. You can make it a little smaller or bigger, however you need it to be. Double click it, hold down option. This is a dupli this is for duplicating it. Hold down option, click and drag, and make another one. And there you have it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.